Hey everyone, this is Veronica Wasek with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. And in this video, we're going to show you how to do a bank reconciliation if the account has never been reconciled. This is a big issue for business owners. Um, you probably don't even know you're supposed to reconcile and suddenly find out that you're, you're supposed to reconcile your accounts to your bank statements every month. And also a big issue for accountants and bookkeepers when you're taking over a new client and the client has never reconciled. Andre is going to show you the tutorial, so here we go. Hello to everyone. This is Andre. Today, I'm going to go over a specific situation encountered by business owners who do their own bookkeeping. Let's say that I want to get my financial statements ready for my 2018 tax return, but I have a bank account which has never been reconciled to QBO. In this situation, I'll need to perform one large catch-up reconciliation for everything that happened prior to 2018. Step 1. Perform a catch-up reconciliation. I'll start by locating a copy of my December 31st, 2017 bank statement because this statement contains the ending balance in the bank account as of the last day of 2017, which is also the beginning balance as of the first day of 2018. Remember, to reconcile, you'll first need to select the gear icon, then select Reconcile. Under Account, select the name of the bank account that has never been reconciled. Under Ending Balance, enter the ending balance from the bank statement dated December 31st, 2017. Under Ending Date, I'm going to enter December 31st, 2017. Then I'll select Start Reconciling. When the bank reconciliation window opens, I'm going to select every transaction in the bank reconciliation window which belongs in 2017 or any years prior to 2017. I'm also going to be mindful that some transactions recorded in 2017 may actually clear the bank only in 2018. For example, there may be a check which was recorded on December 31, 2017, but cleared the bank on January 2nd of 2018. I'll make sure that this transaction is not selected. Instead, it will be reconciled to the January 2018 bank statement at a later time. After selecting every appropriate transaction dated before 2018, I notice that there is a $2,000 difference between the ending bank balance that is in QBO and the ending bank balance from the bank statement. To resolve this, I'm going to create a very special transaction to plug the $2,000 difference. Step 2. Create a plug transaction for any differences. If the difference is positive, create a deposit transaction and categorize it to an account called Opening Balance Equity. If the difference is negative, create an expense transaction and also categorize it to Opening Balance Equity. In either scenario, I'll make sure the date of the transaction is December 1st, 2017, and make sure that the correct bank account has been selected. Once the plug transaction has been entered, I'm going to go back to the bank reconciliation window and select the plug transaction. After selecting the plug transaction, the difference should now be zero. I'm now ready to finish reconciling. As a disclaimer, this is a common scenario for catching up on bank statement reconciliations, but not every situation will be just like this one. I recommend that you consult with a certified QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor or an accountant before you decide to enter a plug transaction. Step 3. Continue reconciling your bank accounts to QuickBooks Online. Phew, that was a lot to take in, but at least now I'm all caught up for 2017. I can reconcile all of the 2018 bank statements to QuickBooks Online month by month. If you want to know how to do a regular monthly bank statement reconciliation, be sure to check out the video in the link below. As always, best wishes to all of you on your bookkeeping journey. 
If this content is helpful, make sure that you like this video, leave a comment, share the video, and subscribe to our channel so you can get all of our latest videos. I'm Veronica Wasik with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. Thank you.